Will Intel be introducing a 6-core series of mainstream CPUs? And could Threadripper be an even better deal than initially thought? Stay tuned. Welcome back to GamerMeld. Before we get started, definitely make sure to check out the GamerMeld Discord server. It's a place for anyone who loves to talk about all things hardware and gaming. I'll have that linked in the description below. So first up today is a report I originally saw at Tech Power Up, and it's in regard to Threadripper. Now I do want to say that it's still a rumor, as I couldn't find anything on this at one of the sources they cited. Though I could be wrong, but second, we have no word from AMD just yet. Still, the other source seems a little more reliable. It comes from Japan and they stated that reservations start the 27th with a release on August 10th. That leads Tech Power Up to believe that it should come to the US around the 9th. Though of course, this is still just rumor but interesting nonetheless. Now here's the really cool news. According to them, Threadripper is to come with an AIO water cooler. And we're talking at the same already unbelievable price it's currently announced at. That's actually plausible for a couple reasons. One, they've done it before, and two, they may want to avoid having the issue like they did before with AM4 coolers, or well, the lack of having them at the time of Ryzen's release. Plus, the Red Ripper socket is quite big, so some all new brackets and even heat sinks will more than likely be required for this socket, which takes time. No matter why they're doing it though, if they are, Threadripper would be an even more of a value than before. And since we do seem to be looking at quite a bit of gains with heavily threaded workloads over Intel's current crop, this could be an even bigger blow to Intel than initially anticipated. Basically, Intel had better hope they've got something up their sleeve or AMD just might begin truly making waves in the CPU market. Using that as the perfect segue into the next bit of today's news, we have even more reports that states Intel is working on mainstream 6-core CPUs. Keep in mind that this is still a rumor, as we haven't heard any official news from Intel just yet. Still, we've seen a ton of outlets reporting something similar. So, originally by Canada PC and then video cards, Intel looks to be working on both 6-core i5s and 6-core i7s for their upcoming Coffee Lake CPUs. So far, we're looking at the i7-8700 with a base clock of 3.2GHz, and no information on boost really with any of these, then an i7-8700K with a base clock of 3.7GHz. Next up is the i5 series, starting with the 8600K to base clock of 3.6GHz, and from what I understand would actually continue down the line to as low as the 6-core i5-8400 with a frequency of 2.8GHz. If this is true, it's safe to assume the same difference between the current i5 and i7s applies here, with the 6-core i5 without SMT and less L3 cache, followed by the 6-core i7s with SMT and more cache. If this turns out to be true, AMD will certainly have a fight on its hands. Of course, with Coffee Lake still being on the 14 nanometer process and the recent release of the Core X Enthusiast CPUs kind of holding them back as far as how good they could make them, it would be tough to see them outdo Ryzen by all that much. But of course, with their next Ryzen CPUs coming next year, it's certain the contest for CPU dominance between these two giants is only just beginning. So while that does it for today's news, what did you think of the possibility AMD is going to be adding an AIO with their already well-priced Threadripper CPUs? And what about the proposition of a 6-core i5 and i7 on Intel's mainstream socket? The way these are actually named, it could be completely replacing the 4-core, I'm really not sure. But either way, as a gamer, are you excited? Let me know in the comments below. That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggest a video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.